You are about to see the most dangerous, most disgusting, and most shocking foods ever made. This Italian cheese called Casumarzu is filled with thousands of live maggots. It's officially called the most dangerous cheese in the world. Casumarzu is made by special flies lying their eggs on pecorino cheese until these eggs become maggots that eat and digest it. And yes, these warm thingies stay there for you to eat them. Oh my god! And speaking of cheese, how about a glass of dead baby mice wine? In China, it's traditional to drown little hairless mice in rice wine. After it ferments for over a year, it's believed to cure asthma and many other diseases. Just be ready to taste something like gasoline. Or if you're braver, bite into a pickled mouse. <sighs> I haven't even drank it and I already feel dizzy. How about we take a break for a little snack? Would you like some virgin boy eggs for appetizer? No joke! In some places around the world, vendors collect schoolboy's urine in buckets, then put it in a pot with eggs to soak and boil for several hours. They do this until the egg whites become yellowish and the yolks turn green. If you eat this, you will not get heat stroke. These eggs cooked in urine are fragrant. They are good for your health. Wow. For those who are still strong enough to watch this video, time for some seafood. Shirako is a Japanese delicacy filled with fish semen. It tastes fishy, creamy, and grainy, and you can serve it on top of rice, fry as tempura, or eat it with your favorite sushi. Next on the menu, hakal, also known as fermented rotten shark. Icelanders bury a dead shark underground until it gets drained of poisonous juice. When that's done, they hang it out to dry, then serve it in pieces. As to how it tastes, let's just hear it from the food legend himself. The single worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. The oil this woman is scooping out of the gutter is about to end up in someone's stomach. In some places in China, that is the same oil used to soak your crispy, yummy fried chicken. I'm not joking. There are companies who buy used oil from sewers, large factories, and even industrial lubricant plants. Still finger licking good? Or maybe oil puking bad? Or perhaps you would like some sauce with that because next is the Indian sauce used to spice up any dish chutney coconut mint mango there is one for everyone but would you still eat this mouth-watering chutney if you knew where it got its water unfortunately you are seeing right this street vendor was caught cooking his chutney using toilet water still have an appetite let me fix it with some greens. La 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 la. Healthy, clean, fresh. Doctor's recommended choice, right? Let's test it out. If you went to buy vegetables and saw these options, which ones would you pick for yourself? Let me guess. Uh, these. <laughs> You're not alone. Many shoppers pick the brightest green, hoping to give their bodies the best. But really, some street vendors use synthetic dye to trick your eye, and they have been caught doing it. And speaking of dye, you know those toxic chemical embalmers used to preserve your body when you die? Turns out you don't need to wait for death to consume them. Because in Indonesia, some fishermen use it to keep fish looking fresh for a longer time. Feeling like fish out of water yet? I know this sounds crazy, but we are not done yet. Because no meal would be complete without some dessert pastry and for your pastry needs these men are ready to knead just not with their hands or any machine but with their very own feet unfortunately in some places in india and bangladesh bread factories do not have machines so not only do they make bread on floors they also give it a personal touch 
Fancy some handmade, I mean, sorry, some feed made bread? Now that you know how some of these foods were made, how about we go into some shocking things that are sometimes found inside of them? This woman was just opening a can of green beans for dinner, but what she found inside will make your skin crawl. To dish them out, I thought it was a burnt bean, <laughs> and lo and behold it was These shrimp tails in cereal that went quite viral, these accidents happen very often. Just ask this woman from Texas who only wanted some cheering up, so she bought ice cream. Clueless and hungry, she kept digging in until she noticed this. I got to the bottom and there's normally a uh, chocolate layer here. So I went to get a spoonful of it and I bit into it and then something sharp cut the inside of my lip. At the bottom of her cup was a sharp razor blade that could have been incredibly dangerous if she swallowed it. Have you ever heard of a clothing store that exists to help people and not make profits? Well, you have to visit our store, honesty.global. A unique humanitarian clothing where you get to choose who you want to help while buying amazing high quality clothes. It took us two years to set up this store and I cannot express how proud I am of the designs, the quality and most importantly the fact that you can shop with purpose. If you appreciate what we do, please support our charity work by visiting honesty.global. Back to the video. She got lucky, but maybe not more than the next guy. This man took a bite of his McDonald's burger, but instead of a juicy patty, he tasted this. Bit into my burger and pulled a $20 bill out. I was in disbelief. I was like, is this for real? Talk about put your money where your mouth is, cause, well, this Russian woman put her money where the mouse is. I guess it's a good thing they weren't alive, unlike these next ones. So Nightfam, get ready because you're about to feel things you have never felt before about foods. <laughs> This is one of the most expensive foods in the world, the rainbow lobster. It's a beautiful animal. This insane creature looks almost like a painting and it will cost you hundreds of dollars to eat it. Oh, and to break for a second, this video is not for the people with weak stomachs. Because it's only gonna get weirder from here. Next on the list, a snake soup. The snake first is being washed. Then I'm gonna skip a few steps ahead to spare you some insane images of how it gets chopped while it's still moving. And after that, the cook boils it and turns it into a soup. Next, the street food captured in China. I saw some of this with my own eyes. People can eat moving scorpions, all sorts of bugs, tarantulas, maggots, and basically basically all the stuff that we run away from when we see it. But to be honest with you, this street food is just a short break in this video. Because next, we are about to dive back into hell. Do you like sushi? Well, how about some moving squid sashimi? You take it out, cut it up and clean it, and just like in the case of the octopus, serve it to people while it is still moving in your mouth. Some people will really eat anything. Just like the people you're about to see next. This woman is about to eat a moving frog sashimi. This frog is chopped up and still moving while being eaten. People enjoy seeing this happen. Octopus, squid, even bugs and insects. I mean, it's crazy enough looking at them being served on a plate. Squirming, wriggling, flipping, jumping. That's alone having to eat them. What kind of high do these people get from putting this inside their mouths? So again, why eat them? Let's take a look at the most popular moving animal dish that you will see in most mukbangs, the San Akchi. 
See, by tradition, South Korean warriors used to believe that eating this poor sea creature gives them physical strength. It's the same reason why the Japanese eat frog sashimi. And in China, where eating snakes is believed to cure certain types of illnesses. But sometimes, it's not about health or tradition. It's simply about the thrill. The shock factor. Just look at this snake charmer who was supposed to get rid of cobras found in a house but just started eating 100 cobra snakes alive. And when people see this, they get curious. They want to get a taste. They put them on their bucket list for the sake of adventure. Sometimes for the sake of content. But again, how far can people go just to try something new? Because as unique as these foods may be, they are also dangerous. About six people die every year from eating live octopus. Because the suckers can stick to people's throats and cause them to choke. Snakes and frogs, among others, can undeniably be poisonous. And some animals are just clearly filthy. Especially with what you're about to see next. If these people chose to eat this kind of food, the next people you're about to see are unfortunately forced to eat this type of food. In Haiti, hungry children and adults make cookies out of mud. A mixture of dirt, butter and salt, all so they can fill up their stomachs. Instead of stealing, we would rather make mad cookies to try and feed our kids. And in case you're wondering how it tastes, mad cookies are very hard to swallow, they have no nutritional value and they're definitely not sweet. Next on the list, Madagascar, the eighth poorest country in the world. This is what the most desperate would call dinner. And no, the food is not inside it. The white clay used to make this vase is what people are forced to eat. They turn it into powder, mix it with tamarind sauce and eat this mixture as is. And sadly, eating this every day could lead to big health issues. If we had something to eat, if our saliva was enough, we would never eat this. Now, for the poorest people in Venezuela, they buy meat, except they can only afford rotten meat. Because of the incredibly bad recession, food prices there have gone up, leaving the poorest people with no choice but to risk their health to survive. Eating smelly, rotting, almost poisonous meat. But in the Philippines, the opposite is true. The poorest people are forced to eat overcooked food. They search through piles of trash to gather leftover fried meats thrown by houses and restaurants. Then they recook those leftovers and call it a meal. In South Sudan, on the other hand, hungry people eat greens, just not the regular kind that we know. Wild grass grows near houses and empty lands, so in the most desperate times, that solves their hunger. The city the situation is bad. It is a dire situation. We've talked to mothers, a lot of them are, are skipping meals. And in India, some people are forced to chase and eat rats in order to survive. People are starving, so we kill rats and use them. This video was taken in Bihar, one of the poorest states of India. Wow. Imagine being forced to chase and eat rats. It's crazy to know how these foods actually exist. Some of them will make you curious, you would want to taste them. Some will make you scared, you'd never want to see them again. Some will make you angry, you'd want to stab them. And some will make you feel grateful for everything you have in life. In all of this, Night Fam, I want to remind you that most of the time, you are what you eat. Thank you for watching everyone.